Hopefully you watched uh, the last video about expanding a binomial, got some of the basics down. So we can go through this one a little bit quicker, uh, taking a look at how to expand this. So I've started with my chart again, three rows, and then I've got six columns. I'll always have one column more than the power I'm raising it to. So looking at row five of Pascal's triangle, I see that those numbers are one, five, 10, 10, five, and one. So that's the top row of my chart, the numbers I've gotten from Pascal's triangle. The next row in my chart is going to be the first term, and this time I'm going to, uh, well, I'm always including parentheses, but I'm extra careful this time, uh, starting from the highest power, so five, and then working your way down the list, so 4x to the fourth power. I include parentheses because both of those pieces will be need, uh, needed to be raised to each power. So 4x to the third, 4x squared, all the way down to 4x to the zero, or just one, which I just cross out. Remember, that's just, just to the first power. Uh, then finally, I'm going to start with, or I'm going to uh, finish the table with that last, uh, last term, and then it's going to increase in power. However, I start from nothing. Three to the zero power is just one, so I'll blank it out. Uh, next up is three to the first. I don't need parentheses because it's just a positive three, and then three squared, three to the third, three to the fourth, and finally three to the fifth. To get my actual expanded answer, then I'm going to take uh, each of these columns, oops, uh, take each of these columns and multiply them together. What you want to be really careful of this time is I'm not just going to end up with Pascal's triangle number as coefficients. I need to multiply 1 times 4 to the 5th power because I need to distribute that exponent. So using a calculator to do 1 times 4 to the 5th, I end up with 1,024 x to the fifth power. So again, Pascal's triangle numbers are not there. Uh, they're sort of embedded in it, but you're not going to see them in your final answer. I'll do one more with you, and then I want you guys to kind of finish on your own. I need to multiply all of this stuff together for my next term. Well, that's going to mean multiplying 5 times 4 to the fourth, and then also times 3 to the first. So these numbers are going to start to get huge. Multiplying all that together, I get 3,840, and then x to the fourth. Okay, so I'm gonna, uh, I want you guys to pause the video, try to finish this one out, see if you get the same thing I do. My answer will pop up in just a couple seconds. So there's what I ended up with. Hopefully you ended up with the same thing. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, this is definitely not a quick way to do the problems. It's not a shortcut, I'd say, but it is much quicker than the alternative, which would be to multiply this out by hand.